Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com. Just after the close on Monday, May the 21st, 2012, with a stock and uh, gold and silver report. Uh, this is the NASDAQ composite. Gained about 2.5% today. Had a nice day uh, coming up off the bottom, uh, making a... Uh, a higher high here than Friday's high and uh, coming back up here uh, to this lower trend line that was may offer some uh, uh, overhead resistance we'll have to see uh, we're down below all the key moving averages obviously but it's nice to have a nice you know kind of upside reversal day uh, volume was just above average but nowhere near the massive selling uh, that happened on Friday and uh, uh, some of the uh, uh, you know less than some of the selling that was happening last week so uh, we're not out of the woods yet, um, but uh, certainly had a nice, nice day here. S&P 500 uh, had a similar day, up 1.73%. Uh, this is the SPY, the uh, exchange traded fund for the S&P 500. Uh, we made a higher a high than on Friday, and um, nice, uh, nice move. But uh, volume was below average and, and really kind of weak and anemic. Not a great sign. But uh, we could get some follow-through uh, action here and some increasing volume, but still well below all the key moving averages. Um, definitely not out of the woods yet. But, uh, you know, when you start to make a higher high after all these lower lows, uh, this starts uh, to look better. Um, you know, uh, we're <laughs> beggars can't be choosers at this point. So uh, let's see if we can get something going. And here's a look at the mega cap uh, Dow stocks, uh, up uh, just over 1%, um, made a higher high. Um, uh, and uh, don't have the volume figures. I'll have to go to the New York Stock Exchange for those volume figures. But, um, uh, you know, uh, coming up off the bottom, very similar to the other index. Uh, here's the GLD, the gold ETF, uh, up just about a tenth of a percent, uh, not much, but it is uh, the third uh, uh, higher close. So, um, and not giving up much ground, uh, even though we did not make a fresh uh, a new high here. Um, you know, kind of stabilizing action here. Uh, not a bad thing. Uh, still uh, below the key moving averages, of course. Uh, not out of the woods yet, but back in this trading range that we had been in, uh, which is a downsloping trading range. So um, volume was very light, um, but uh, it's good to have, uh, you know, a string of up days. And here is uh, the SLV, the silver ETF, uh, down about a half a percent uh, on very, very light volume, so no big deal. Uh, had moved up uh, uh, really nicely uh, in a couple of sessions, breaking this trend line that we've been in for quite a long time here. And uh, coming back here and finding a little bit of overhead resistance at this gray line, which is the 10-day moving average. Um, but a little bit of a pullback consolidation, losing about half a percent, no big deal. Below all the key moving average lines, um, still in a downtrend. But, um, you know, if we get some follow through, things can change. So that's just a quick look at the stocks in, in precious metals. Um, uh, everything's still in the downtrend, but trying to reverse itself uh, and get some momentum going to the upside. But uh, clearly um, not out of the woods yet in any one of these. So uh, thanks for listening and good luck trading.